I'm Jacqueline O'Donnell from the Sisters Restaurant in Glasgow. I'm down here on the South Ayrshire coast on Girvan Mains Farm where Drew Young grows the most fantastic new Ayrshire tatties for Scotty brand. Sweet, earthy, waxy, great flavour potato which I'm going to make into a fabulous dish. Let's go and meet Drew. The history behind New Ayrshire Potatoes, Drew, where did it all begin? It's been a big thing on this coast. They even built a railway line here in 1906 to take the crop from the Ayrshire coast to the, the, the mass of populations of Glasgow and beyond. So what makes Ayrshire so special for growing these potatoes in this area? Where we're standing is what they call a raised beach. It, it, it's a sandy, gravelly type soil that heats up quickly with the Gulf Stream. So you've got a, a piece of land that likes to grow anything pretty quick. So this is a variety called Casablanca, which uh, we've now successfully used for the Scotty brand produce for about five years now. It's, it's quite a modern variety to be fair, but it has got a traditional Ayrshire flavour to it. It's got that earthy, nice, fresh flavour and it's very, very good. What do you do to make sure that they get to us in the best condition possible? They'll be harvested here very early in the morning and we've got sort of a six hour window to have them to the pack house ready for the Scotty brand sales. So that's field to fork in really quite a short time. The, the, the aim is to keep that time scale as short as possible, to keep the freshness within the, the, the product and to just improve the customer quality at the end of the day. And the type of soil being sandy is better for Ayrshire potatoes as opposed to a clay soil? Oh yes, yes, because they come out so clean, the soil heats up much quicker in the spring and also you've less chance of having any frost or anything in the early spring to damage the crop. So Drew, do you still use the seaweed to, to fertilise the Ayrshire tatties? Yeah, seaweed's still used. We use a, a, an extract of seaweed product nowadays which uh, gives the same, the same effect as the old seaweed did. Now it doesn't take much to make these Ayrshire tatties taste really special, but I'm going to make something wonderful for you today. Well, I can't wait to taste that. That'll be tremendous. So we're here in Drew's kitchen and we've got at last our Scotty brand Ayrshire New Potatoes. Now I have washed these potatoes already and popped them in the pot and then in a pan alongside it I've thinly sliced some red onion and we're going to put a wee bit of butter, a tiny splash of rapeseed oil and a twist of salt and pepper. And now we'll pop these on the stove for 10 minutes. Now all we want to do is just roughly slice them and then we'll pop them into the bowl. A wee bit of butter, some more salt and pepper. So all we want to do is mix through with your sliced potatoes some butter, salt and pepper. We're just crushing them down slightly to fit inside the ring. We have some beautiful Scotty brand tomatoes here, lovely and ripe. And what we want to do is thinly slice them and arrange the slices over the top of this Ayrshire New stack. Spoon on some of your red onion. I've finely chopped some baby gherkins. Crumble just a wee bit of goat's cheese over the top. And whatever your favourite leaf is, spinach or rocket or cress. A tiny bit of rapeseed oil again. Pop that on top. So we'll pop this into the oven for two to three minutes just to warm that back up again. Two minutes, it's back from the oven. We're going to finish it with some more leaves. You can see that these leaves have just wilted down enough. The tomatoes have just warmed up and those Ayrshire news have just melted that beautiful butter that we popped inside there. In just over 10 minutes, these Scotty brand Ayrshire New Potatoes have turned into a fabulous, simple, tasty dish. What more do you need to make an Ayrshire tatty shine?